tonight, they've decided to do two things. Number one, share with you their secrets of success, share with you their knowledge and everything they've learned the hard way, number one. And number two, the other thing they've decided to do is bring some of the best speakers and the brightest minds with regard to Amazon on this stage to share their knowledge with you because when you apply that knowledge, that will be the accelerator for your success. Ladies and gentlemen, is it okay if I bring them to the stage? Are you sure? Can you help me welcome them to the stage? Do you remember how we help people to the stage? Get up out of your seats. Put your hands together. Welcome to the stage, Sebastian Swick and Eric Castellano. This is this next presentation here. I, I, I just recently purchased a Remarkable. Anybody know what Remarkable is? This isn't an ad or anything. I'm just... I use it a lot. So it's, it's like a notepad, right? Because it, it has no like Instagram, no TikTok, no Gmail. It's literally just a digital notebook. And me, I'm all over the place. I have so much going on in my life. Um, and this thing has revolutionized the way that I operate. You know, my girlfriend's here. She can confirm this, but I will be in the middle of a movie and I'll be, I'll be like, I gotta go to the office. I just had this brilliant idea. You know, and I'll, jo I'll jot it down on the Remarkable. We'll be laying in bed at night, one in the morning. I'll be like, I just had this brilliant idea. I'll get up, go to my office. I'll jot it down on the Remarkable. And so this, this next presentation is a bunch of those thoughts, right? The thoughts that keep me up at night. So number one, life experiences expand your perspective. Sometimes we just need to act as if. Right? And a good example of this is traveling first class. Who's ever, been, who's ever traveled first class before? Awesome. Awesome. If you haven't, I encourage you, please, next time you get a flight, if the, if the first class ticket is only a couple hundred bucks more, purchase it. It's it, just the experience of being up there, the warm towel, the glass of champagne. It's going to allow you to level up, and you're never going to be able to walk by that first-class seating again and forget that experience you had in first class. Every time you get on an airplane, you're going to want to sit first class. So it's going to elevate your mindset to be like, I need first class in every single thing I do because that experience was just so phenomenal. You know, same thing with booking suites at hotels. Booking suites at hotels, and it, it's all about the act as if. I remember early on going to shows like ASD and Expo East, and I would, I'd be strolling by myself in the early days, and I would say, you know, nice to meet you. Can I get a catalog for myself and my team? We'd love to, you know, review it. I'm going to send it over to my buyers. There was no team. I was the buyer. I was also the picker and the packer and the prepper. But you know what? I actually, after going up to like five, six, seven vendors, I started thinking, yeah, my buying team. And yeah, yeah, I'm going to say, I started walking around. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. And the fact of the matter is that that vision was already being established. I didn't realize, but the act as if was being established. Sitting in first class is nice. And and seeing how that is, and there's a reason why it's right at the front of the plane. So when you walk by, especially, it really hurts, especially if you sat there before, and now you're in row 36, and you're walking by, and I'm like, damn, I miss that. I miss that towel. Yeah, so level up, right? Even if you got to invest in yourself, level up for the experience, because once you have that experience, you'll never look back. You'll want that experience every time moving forward, and you will do anything in your power to experience it again. Information changes your situation through implementation. So what does this mean, right? Information's great. We all gathered a ton of information tonight. Who gathered some information? Raise your hand and say aye. Aye. Awesome, right? But right now it's just information. That's all it is right now. You haven't acted on it. You haven't done anything with it. It's just up here or in your notepad or in your cell phone or in your gallery, right? Probably things that a lot of you to be fully honest here, we'll never look at it again. You know? So until you implement those things, it is simply that. It is just information. That's so you right. gotta act on it, or That's else right. nothing changes. That's right. You first, first you have the vision. We have our vision. Eric has his for some reason at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but when you have that vision, he grabs his remarkable, he writes it down. I do the same thing, I write it down because right then it becomes tangible. It comes into reality. Everything you see here, from the chairs we're sitting in to the spotlights to this TV, was at some point somebody's vision. Wrote it down and then took action, implemented it, and that's how it becomes reality. 
All right, so this is, this is us for a long time. Being so focused on getting the best, best discounts from your current suppliers that you fail to recognize and fix your current broken infrastructure. You know, how many percentage points are you losing for being inefficient in your buying process, right? Inefficient in your, in your packaging process, right? Slow discrepancy reports. You know, you're receiving inventory. It's just not up to par. How many percentage points do you think you're losing? I know in the beginning when we didn't master those systems, we were probably losing five or six percentage points. That's five or six cents on every single dollar we sold was going to inefficiencies. But you're fo so focused on finding that next profitable SKU or finding that next profitable vendor that you fail to realize that right in front of you, you're losing a lot of money, right? So look at your business. Sometimes I go in my warehouse and I just stand on some pallets, you know, and I'll stand there for 15 minutes. I'll just watch people, you know, and they probably wonder what I'm doing. It's like, this guy's a nut job, you know, but I'm just watching. Where can we remove 10 steps? You know, because 10 steps, we got what, 50 something employees? We're in yep. the warehouse, 30. Yep. 30 employees times 10 steps a day, that's 300 steps a day. Times five days a week, that's 1,500 steps a week. Times 52 weeks, you do the math. That's days and days of labor that we're paying for. So if I can shave that off, I'm shaving it. But if you're not aware of it, you don't know how to cut it out. Amazon has so many programs that we can take advantage of, whether it's small and light or referral fee discounts. The average category across Amazon is a 15% referral fee. Yet across our company, our company average is about 13%. 13% on referral fees because of the discounts and the programs that are provided by Amazon. But you really need to dive into that, really look through Seller Central, pay attention to where you could shave off, save your company money, and grow your business, right? Referral fee discounts on grocery items. Most people aren't aware that from $15 to about $16.50, it doesn't make sense even selling those products. At $15 or below, you're more profitable and the customers get the advantage of getting a lower cost. That means at $15, they're saving money and you're making more versus selling it for $16.50. That's just one small piece. Yeah, it's one small nugget. And to elaborate on it even, even deeper, you know, so we're so focused on finding new suppliers that we failed to capitalize on the ones we already have. Yep. You know, put it, if you got a team of buyers or VAs that have been doing the same catalog over and over, Put someone else on that catalog. We've, we've tested this in our company. We've given two buyers the same exact catalog, the yep. same exact two days to put together an order, and lo and behold, only about 65 or 70% of the order matches. That means the other buyer is finding a different 30% of the order that the other buyer completely missed out on because they got a different thought process. They got a different mindset. They analyzed listings differently. So there's so much opportunity with your current relationships, you don't always have to chase the next one. You know, build the ones you have already. The next ones are great though. You know, but focus on the ones you have. Quality, quality over quantity, every yeah. time. This is a little nugget. This is a great one. Um, so you could use a credit card for your PPC spend. Get three, one to 3% points back on your credit card, you know, for PPC spend instead of deducting it from your Amazon account. And it's very simple. You just click the gear icon in the top right of Seller Central, select account info, payment inf information, charging methods for advertising, boom. Charge methods for advertising, add a credit card. Yeah, take a picture of that one. That's a good one. You know, the, uh, the marketplace, it could, it's pretty rigorous at times, especially early on. I remember when I was struggling before Amazon came to fruition and, you know, paycheck to paycheck and really struggling. But the fact of the matter is the marketplace is fair. You know, the value I was receiving was worth the value I was giving. As a bartender and a waiter at the time, I could only serve a minimal amount of people every day. I wasn't able to scale that. But once we started this Amazon process and built our businesses, we were able to employ people. We were able to give them paychecks, paychecks that pay for their rents, for their kids' school, for utilities, right? able to help a larger portion of people, all of you that are here today, and then the ripple effect of all of that, that's where the value comes in and the market pays for value. The more value you could bring into the ecosystem, the more you're worth. Yeah, so I'd like all you to write down just a question in your notebook right now, like how good are you at your skill set, right? And answer it honestly. Scale of one to 10, 10 being expert level, 
one being brand new, just getting started. The goal is to get as close to 10 as humanly possible, right? Because the closer to 10 you are, the more money you'll get paid, right? That's why we got people in the inner circle paying us, you know, a large, large sums of money. Because in the Amazon wholesale space, I consider myself a 10. Without a doubt in my mind, I'm a 10. You know, so master your craft and you will be paid your value. And that, that would be the second question. So the first one you write down now, the second one for you to take home, really sit on is, how can you become more valuable? How can you become more valuable? Yeah. Now listen, all of us are of course of value, but the fact is all of us can continue to grow. Matter of fact, if you're not growing, you're going the other way. There's no in the middle, there's no stagnation. It's either you're growing or you're going the other way. Yeah. This next one's so straightforward. It's just like hope is not a tactic. We've all been in situations. I hope this happens. I hope this doesn't happen. I hope I can get this done. It's like, no, take action. Make a commitment. Move forward with it. You know, hope is not a business plan. Hope will not fill your bank account with money. Hope will not pay for your next travel expense when you're heading out to ASD out in August. You know, hope's not going to make that shit happen. You're going to make that shit happen. Yeah, hope with action. That's, that's our rocket fuel. That glimmer of hope at the beginning when we had nothing, when we were just getting started. And that's what continues to fuel us today. Hope that we could grow this community to 4X, 5X, 10X this. And then see all of you with your communities and growing them. That's the hope that inspires us. Throughout the week I've been hearing, how does Eric keep going? How do you keep going? It's that hope, but then taking that action, which is sometimes just taking one more step, sometimes just getting back on stage, sometimes just going to one more supplier. That's that hope with action. Treat your business like a marathon, not a track meet, right? You're playing the long game here, my friends. You know, sometimes we exhaust ourselves in that one day or that one week. That's that track meet. You're doing everything to get first place, but you're failing to realize that you're, you're not looking at the big picture here. You got to pace yourself, play the long game. You know, Sebastian and I didn't build, build this monstrous business, right? And that's just the Amazon side, Amazon side of things. Sebastian and I didn't build this amazing community of all of you overnight. This is four and a half, almost five years in the making. You know, we didn't just create an Instagram account like, I hope 200 people show up to this room. <laughs> like, we've been harvesting these relationships and meeting with you one-on-one -on -one and spending time with you, helping you grow your business. This is not a track meet for us. This is a marathon, and it needs to be the same for you. This is pretty basic. You know, losers focus on winners, and winners focus on winning. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's so simple. And really, it breaks down to just not focusing on the petty stuff, you know? And it goes back to since we're at ASD, that supplier that says no. And I, I love to talk about this because it really harped on me for quite some time. I would go to a show, and I'd hear a no, and then I'd pass by four, five, six opportunities and I didn't even realize them because I was still at that last guy that said no. I didn't even realize the opportunities that were right in front of me because I couldn't just let that go, right? And so I need to focus on what's next instead of what was because I can't change what was, but I could change what's about to happen. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, about eight years ago, my, my, my family's here to confirm this, but eight years ago, I was, you know, sleeping on my parents' couch when we wanted me there, living out of my car, sleeping on Sebastian's couch. I had absolutely not a hope in my life or an aspiration or a dream, and I didn't have the ability to really put anything together of substance, you know, and I was so focused on just, like, watching these other people win that I wasn't willing to take any action for myself, you know, and then, and then I woke up one morning, I felt absolutely broken. You know, I looked in the mirror and I felt like a shell of a man, just no hope. You know, and I realized in that day something had to change and I had to focus on winning because winners focus on winning, right? I had to change my entire perspective. I had to have that, that spiritual mental shift that allowed me to level up. And for me, it happened in one morning, you know, but it was after a decade of abuse to my body, you know, and hurting the people around me that loved me the most. You know, so I don't know how it's going to happen for you, but I hope and I pray that it happens for you. And it might not be tonight, and that's okay. It might take six months. It might be tomorrow. I don't know when it's going to happen. But I promise you that if you keep showing up and focus on winning, it will happen. And if you take action on a daily basis, you know, there, 
We're going to all catch losses. We're all going to have challenges. But I have yet to see anyone in their life or in their business fail that stays consistent and just keeps going. You, sometimes you got to walk through the trenches. Like, it is not easy building a community like this. It is not easy raising a family. It is not easy just trying to navigate all the tasks that we have on a daily basis, right? Like, we have all these comforts in our lives now through technology, but it also makes things way more complex. And trying to, you know, I heard something recently, it, it really takes more discipline today now than ever. Right, to focus on what needs to be done when we have social media, when we have emails, when we have all these networks right in front of us, and we have to really make sure to keep our vision right in the forefront. Yeah. And that's a wrap that's on it, thoughts everybody. that keep me up at night. Thank you so much, my friends. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Stay lit. And don't go home, because after this, we're going to be celebrating all of you with awards. <laughs>